Hello, this is Tom from Travel Productions with another Blender Quick Key for Beginners. And in this Quickie for Beginners tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate a simple image of a flame for a candlestick that you can use in uh, game engines or using an animation where you have the camera not as close to the flame. This is our flame right here. I'm going to leave this project for you guys to download in the description below. And for this, it's it's got to be some distance from your camera. It can't be like really close up, or else it'll look like it's fake. But it's got to be some distance from your camera. And we're going to animate this on the can. It's not going to be on the candlestick, but this is the flame for a candlestick. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is fix the shadow, because when this flickers like a flame, we don't want it to look like uh, to cast a shadow of the whole uh, image. Actually, a whole perspective of the image on the uh, background plane. So in order to fix that, we're going to go down to our texture uh, panel here and turn that from opaque to alpha hashed. And then that's what we want to see when it comes to the flame itself. And we want to get rid of this light here. We don't want this light to affect the um, perception of the flame in the scene. For this particular scene, so we're going to delete that. And we have our screencast keys on so you can see what I'm doing here. But the first thing we're going to do is change the pivot point from the middle of our image to the bottom. And in order to do that, let's go into edit mode by pressing tab on our keyboard. And then on the Z axis, left click and drag up. And then tab to accept that selection. So now we want all pivoting and uh, movement to happen at the pivot point at the bottom center of our PNG image. And we're going to animate this. So we're going to press I on our keyboard. And we're going to press rotation scale. And the reason why we're doing rotation and scale is because if we want to rotate it to, to give it more of a 3D, that's your choice to do that. But I'm just going to keep it on scale just for the sake of this tutorial to make it as simple as possible. So let's just click, click on scale, scaling. Let's click on that. And now that that's been done, let's go to frame 20. And then we're going to press S on our keyboard and scale it down. I again, scaling. We're going to go to 40. And then we're going to press S on our keyboard again. We're going to scale this up. I, scaling. And the same thing with uh, frame 60. Scale it down. I, scaling. Then on 80, the same thing. S, scale up. I, scaling. And we want to look at it in the Eve settings. and you want to you know just get a pretty good view of what the Eve settings look like so I've turned on bloom here and we're going to turn on ambient occlusion and the distance to four that seems to work best and we're going to go down to the shadows and turn it turn the high bit depth click on that to activate that and now we've got that all set up and then when we press play let's go back to the beginning of our uh, timeline press play can see that the flames going up and down now for an actual flame there will be some flickering going on and in order to get the flickering happening in our scene we're going to go into the graph editor so we're going to go up to this corner have our mouse over here and then when it turns to a plus sign click left click and drag once that's done go to this icon left click on that and we're going to go to graph editor click on that and we're going to go up to key. This is our, this is the graph of the movement of uh, the flame. Let's turn this back to the, the display viewport back to EV. Okay. And then we're going to go to key. And from key, we're going to go to the pop-up menu, add curve modifier, and click on noise. Now in Blender 2.79, when you choose noise as the generator for the movement in your scene it has parameters off on the side where you can change the strength of it or the speed of it uh, but for some reason in 2.8 and above I don't see it I don't know where it is it would, I would assume it would be here because this is how it's Champ Blender's changed to have these pop-up menus come in be in the middle of your scene here at the bottom and it would have all those choices here but it's not here so I don't know what it is but this will be fine for what we're wanting to do in terms of the movements and so when we play our animation here now you can see it's flickering 
And that's exactly what we're wanting for a flickering flame inside of Blender, inside of the user interface. Now, in order to animate it in terms of its casting lights on the background of, uh, let's say, a wall or a table, we're going to have to put a light in there ourselves. So press Shift A. And from the pop-up menu, go to light. I think point is best. Sun is kind of strong. Spot casts, you know, a good amount of shadows. Point is like the best one I could that I've used in the past. So click on point. We're going to pull this up. We're going to drag it over to be centered at the bottom part of our um, PNG flame. And we're going to go to the parameters for the light. Let's click on that. We're going to make the radius a little bit bigger. And then we're going to change the color to yellow to match the flame, <coughs> the flame of the PNG image. Click on that. We can actually click on the eyedropper and hover over where we want the, uh, what the color of the light to be just choose from there. And it makes it, that, that's not bad. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Click on that. And from the color wheel to the right side of it, let's make it a little bit brighter. Let's drag that up. And let's kind of shift it up a little bit because it's, it's a little bit too orange. Pull it up a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're going to set the um, set the strength and the power of it according to the movement of the light. So as the light gets bigger, it's going to get brighter. As it's uh, as the light goes down, the light itself or the flame goes down, the light itself is going to get smaller. So we want since it's big, now want the power to be let's say at a hundred. Type in 100 there to make it really bright. And we're going to, you can either hover your uh, cursor over that parameter or click on this. This is in 2.8. And 2.79 and below, it's a bit different. It doesn't have these parameters here. Where you, it, doesn't have these, it doesn't have these dots on the side. You can cl click on it to animate. It's like a tongue twister for me, but to click on it to animate it. So I think for 2.79 uh, Nine and below, you have to hover, or you press I as you hover. You press I on your keyboard to animate, uh, put a keyframe for the p particular parameter. And at 100, that's, the, that's how it's going to start. Then when it gets to 20, it gets smaller. Let's shift this over a little bit more so it can be on 20. We're going to hover our mouse over here. We're going to drag it down so the flame would be less, uh, less bright, so to speak. Click on the diamond, animate that. Let's go to 40. Hover over, drag up. Let's say, let's make this like 117. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have exact numbers here. Just make it brighter as the flame gets bigger, lower as the frame gets lower. Left click on the diamond, animate that. I'm going to click on 60. Drag this down again, make it smaller. Click on the diamond, animate. And we're going to go to 80. Gonna drag this up again. Make it brighter. Click on that. And we're going to go back. And we're going to play that through and see how that looks. Play. Yeah, And there you go. And just to add more realism to the light, we can actually add a noise modifier to the light. It, it's going to be a subtle effect to the light itself, but it's, it'll add, you know, add more to the scene. And in order to do that, so you don't have to go through the whole process of trying to do the key and all that kind of stuff. You just, uh, the, the steps here are crucial to do right, but I think what you would have to do is highlights. Keep your uh, uh, light highlighted. Press shift on your keyboard, and then left click on your light. Then press control, L, and then animation data. And let's click on that, and yeah, that does it. That adds the, the noise movement for the candle, or the flame itself has been added to the lights the actual light in the scene so let's play that again and let's let's turn off uh, let me see turn off the turn all this off so we can see a little bit better uh, turn off all these parameters 3d cursor everything yeah and now we can make the scene actually dark so we can see the effect of the light much more let me go to that let me make this dark yeah, there you go. That's how you can animate, do a basic, simple animation with a PNG flame in Blender using the uh, noise modifier. 
And I hope this was helpful with uh, this Blender Quick Tip tutorial. And I just enjoy making these tutorials for you guys. And I'm making them for myself too because it helps me to remember. Because there's so many steps in Blender, in 3D animation just in general. Doing tutorials like this helps me to remember and go back to as reference so I can actually remember how to do all this stuff myself. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys who have subscribed and to you guys who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.